Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the performance, or not the performance, sorry, we're going to take a look at how you can complete the Extreme Z battle for the Mark of Saiyan Strength, Super Saiyan Bardock. So basically uh, Dragon Ball has decided to wreck on uh, pretty much everything to make it that Bardock achieved all the transformations first, uh, which is always an interesting thing. Um, but SS3 Bardock was kind of like a hero's unit before heroes was a category. And yeah, he kind of, you know, took a life unto his own, uh, which, yeah, is cool. Uh, it was very cool. But yeah, basically SS3 Bardock was one of the very first kind of like crossover units in the game. And his Extreme Z battle is out now, and we've obviously got his EZ8. So in terms of effective categories here, Super Physical and Extreme Physical are going to be the best uh, alongside also being storied figures units. Now you don't need to summon for any storied figures units because quite frankly, um, you know, like you have a full built-in storied figures team uh, in the form of the Team Bardock units. So if you haven't already, here's yet another excuse uh, to farm the Team Bardock units and to really obviously give them a go because you're going to have a pretty great time uh, getting Bardock's Easy A done. Now it will take you a little bit of time, but it's not anything too crazy. And yeah, I think uh, you can keep Tora in the team actually. I took Tech Tora out uh, for the AGL Grade 8 Bardock, but honestly, it's not worth it because, like, AGL Grade 8 Bardock gets his damage reduced anyway, and Super Tech units don't get their damage reduced anyway, so yeah, there's actually no need to essentially, you know, do this. So basically it was an entire waste of time to have AGL Bardock instead of the Tech Toria, but it's okay. Uh, obviously, if you have uh, better team units or better units, All you right, must run them. Do you don't need to run a free-to-play team, it's not necessary, but it does help out. Um, in terms of leads, obviously you've got uh, Tapion and Minotia, you've got the new tech Bardock, uh, you've got Intatora that you can use, and there's a lot of great units that you can use uh, for this event. A lot of physical Bardock will do a great job here. Uh, the Shugesh, the Fasha, all of those physical units will do a good job here. Try to keep it physical, uh, because that's obviously going to help you in terms of damage. But yeah, in general, you have decent options. Uh, you're not left with no options. You have a pretty good variety of units. You also have some pretty good other alternative free-to-play units with units like Paikuhan, etc. But you don't really have a great free-to-play storied figures lead of any kind, which is why I kind of say if you're looking for the cheap and easy route where you don't need to use summonable units at all and you can just do the easiest system whatsoever, go with the Team Bardock. And the thing is, as well, uh, you do obviously have uh, Let's do this. this, you know, how can I say, um, easy built-in team that can use a very good lead in the form of Tech Bardock or in the form of Physical Raditz. Uh, if you're going to use Physical Raditz, your big problem is he's only going to be under one lead, but he's still okay, but I still think Tech Bardock is definitely the best friend lead to use. Uh, otherwise, you can try and do a pure sands kind of build for this with using uh, Raditz as a you know, lead and it's not that Raditz is a storied figure but he does at least provide a really good lead to the team Bardock unit so if you can't find a tech Bardock then just try and run with a physical Raditz because you know that's, that'll still work and you'll still get things done so that's all pretty good stuff from that perspective. So obviously just to kind of talk about uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock because I think his EZA is is pretty good um, I think overall. Like I think he's in, a, he's in a good space and he's got a really nice kind of build that they went with uh, in terms of just making him a lot more functional across the board. So with his EZA um, he now seals super attacks which is great. Before, he didn't seal super attacks, he had a medium chance to. Now he just seals super attacks. Perfectly understandable change. 
He leads Super Saiyan 3 category, 170% across the board. And he raises defense for one turn on his super attack. In terms of his passive, he previously had 100% attack and defense when performing, but now he has 100% attack and defense base with 3 key as well, which is crucial because Super Saiyan 3 units depend a hell of a lot on limit breaking form uh, as one of their key links and over in a flash. And so having the ability to have 3 key base does help out. Uh, not to mention he also now still has his 100% attack and defense when performing a super attack. So uh, to explain how it works, uh, basically he went from having 100% to having 300% defense. Because it's the way it multiplies you know, the super attack within the super attack itself. So it's very very good basically is what I'm saying. Obviously you couple that with his EZA stats, uh, which look very very decent. And then you throw in the fact that he now has an unmitigated 50% uh, attack buff as well. Uh, it's all really good. Not to mention he will now launch an additional super attack when there is a power beyond Super Zen category ally attacking in the same turn. And this is great because this covers a lot of ground. Uh, super Saiyan 4 units, Super Saiyan 2 units, Super Saiyan God units. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue units and uh, also Super Saiyan 3 units. So obviously covers a lot of ground, which is great, uh, and means that he's he looks good uh, in terms of his kit. What I like about it is they just fixed everything with his previous kit that at the time was fine, but maybe like now isn't like suitable for the game. To have a medium chance to seal is just not like a your yeah, ability that you can have nowadays basically it's just not a viable condition for a unit to have in the current meta so for you to now have the ability to seal instead i think overall is really good i think that looks way better on him i think he looks way better from that perspective so yeah i just think in general there's just good changes like i think there's just really strong changes and I think he looks a lot better at least from my perspective I think he looks really really strong obviously um, you know people will kind of assess where Bardock lies uh, obviously once they get their hands on him but I think he looks good I think the changes are good I think in general uh, his abilities and, and his powers look really really good and I think he's he's solid uh, I think he's he's really quite solid. I think he does a good job, and and yeah, I think in general he's a unit that does does really really well, uh, at least for me um, overall. Like I think he he sits in a really good position, and he tends to be like a very strong, very reliable unit overall. So yeah, um, really 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 solid stuff, and overall pretty happy with his performance and, and his just general kind of like display obviously we'll take a look at him in a review video of course um, I think his big thing is his link sets a little bit limited uh, and I do think his categories are a little bit limited but I think overall Bardock looks like he's in a really good position and he just looks um, really solid with that being said um, I do think you know Whenever it comes down to Bardock, I think the big success of Bardock is the fact that he strengthens the tech Bardock's team. And that's realistically kind of where you're going to use him the most. Uh, he is a 200% lead under that team. He provides a support to that team. Yes, it's only an attack support, but a 50% attack support is pretty noticeable. Uh, he links fairly well with most units on that team. And just in general, he provides Bardock himself with more alternative options, which in its own right strengthens Bardock a lot as well. So all of these things considered kind of makes Bardock function a lot better and just makes Bardock himself, this Bardock, function a lot better as well. So yeah, I think overall it's a fairly strong kind of team I think it's a fairly strong EZA 
I think it's one to be excited about. I think it's good. It's a really big buff to the Super Saiyan 3 category. I just think there's a lot of really strong kind of buffs to that category in general. And I think that Power Beyond Super Saiyan, I think Story Figures, I think all of these categories are getting these buffs now, and, and that's good. Yeah, I think, like, if you throw in Physical Fasha and, and Tora, uh, you throw in Tech Bardock, you throw in this EZA SS3 Bardock, um, I think you've got the premise to have a really strong team. You know, those are two good support strength based units in Fasha and uh, Tora. And then you have two really strong offensive units in the form of Bardock and or SS3 Bardock. So you're starting to really look like you have a good, cohesive, strong team unit. And I think that's a really good sign for the team going forward. Story figures was always in a little bit of a weird space um, with these buffs. It becomes a little bit more manageable to put together and you get more usable units to the pool. Uh, it augments a bunch of units, you know, physical LR Bardock, it, it really improves all of these units. And yeah, in general, it's it's just a really, really strong kind of overall, you know, just premise for the team to really build going forward. So yeah, uh, but that is uh, that is basically it. Um, I think overall, it looks pretty good. Um, and yeah, I think in general it sits in a really, really good space. So for me, I think Bardock CZA really good. We'll take a look at it in a video, but if you do have them, definitely do it. And since it's basically free to play, there's no reason for anyone not to do it really. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys all get around to it and that you reap the rewards. It's 30 stones plus the missions, so yeah, easy stuff, but cool. That's it from me. Bye.